Coil heads have two phases, patrol and chase. As soon as a coil head spawns, it will enter phase one. Coil heads use the same function that hoarding bugs and thumpers use to patrol. Basically, from its spawn point, it will slowly search outward through the facility. Although there's more to this function, to keep it simple, the coil head will choose two paths. In this example, the coil head is going to the left, and then he'll turn around and go to the right. Now this time, he will explore a little further than he did before, and then he'll turn around, go on his second path, and also explore a little further than he did before. He will continue going back and forth, searching further and further until he spots a player. Once a coil head has completely cleared an area, it will not check that spot again. So in this example, the coil head completely clears downstairs, and since there's nowhere else to go, the next time the coil head comes to this area, he will not path downstairs. In their patrol phase, coil heads will roam at a constant speed, and if you're close enough, you actually can hear them walking around. Their footsteps kind of sound like wet feet on tile. In order for a coil head to spot you, it must be able to draw a straight line from its eyes to a player's head without any collision. Upon going through the coil head's AI, its eyes actually aren't on its head, they are down near his shins. Shout out to this person from my discord for finding out exactly where the coil head draws its line. This is a picture of the coil head and that red dot is where it draws its line from, which is basically where the coil head's eyes are. This person also went through the Coilhead AI and explained it to me top to bottom. I'm going to put their Thunderstore link down in the description. Go check that out. In this phase, Coilheads can see 30 meters out in all 360 degrees. Here's a bird's eye view of experimentation. If there was a Coilhead standing right here, this would be the range he could see in. So if a player is standing right here and the Coilhead is patrolling, although the player is in its range, that straight line is being blocked by this wall. As soon as the coil head passes this wall, it's able to draw that straight line from the red dot by its shins straight to the player's head, and that will send it into phase two. In this phase, coil heads will be completely frozen if at least one player is looking at them. If there are no players looking at the coil head, then it will begin running towards the closest player. Something to note is that the coil head can be completely off your screen and it still thinks you're looking at it. Just make sure you don't turn too far. When a coil head is in its chase phase, that straight line rule still applies, but instead of it being drawn from its shins, that straight line is now being drawn from its crotch. So just to clarify, in this example, the coil head has a straight line drawn from its crotch to my head. As I get behind this doorway, that line becomes obstructed by the wall, so the coil head will move. As soon as I can see the coil head's Johnson again, that straight line is no longer being obstructed and the coil head will freeze. Basically, if you or any other players are able to see the coil head's crotch area, whether that's from the front, the side, or the back, then the coil head will be completely frozen. Also, pipes and railings will count as obstructions. In this clip, you can see as I get behind these pipes, the coil head will move even though I'm looking at him. It's just because that straight line is being obstructed by those pipes. The moment you turn away from a coil head, it will pretty much immediately begin running at you at a very fast pace. Even if you had distance on the coil head and you're sprinting away, it will still catch up to you very fast. Closing doors is extremely effective as it takes coil heads almost 17 seconds to open a door. Something to keep in mind is that as soon as a coil head touches a door, that counter will begin and it will not stop even if you're looking at it. Stunning a coil head will completely freeze it for 24 seconds and just like doors, looking at the coil head will not pause this timer. What's really interesting is that although Coilhead can catch up to you very quickly, if you're at a full sprint and there's a Coilhead right behind you, it will not kill you unless you slow down. This is really useful because you can literally run right past Coilheads as long as you're sprinting. You can even take turns as long as you turn around and look at them before you run out of stamina. Just make sure you're taking very sharp turns because if you make too wide of a turn or a turn slows you down, then the Coilhead will catch up and kill you. In this phase, coil heads always know where all players are at. In this example, you can see I'm at the front door looking at the coil head, and there's another player literally on the complete other side of the map. The moment that I leave the facility, the coil head will immediately begin sprinting all the way across the map until it gets to that player. 
the only way the coil head will go back into phase one is when every player has left the facility. Once the last player has left the facility, the coil head will immediately go back into phase one from its current position. Coil heads have trouble pathing to you when you jump. I just discovered that if you put a coil head behind a door, break line of sight with it, and jump, this will immediately put it into phase one. You can also stun a coil head, get behind a wall, and jump, which will send it into phase one. However, I think both of these are just glitches. Coil heads will always do 90 damage per hit and can hit you twice in a fifth of a second. They are completely invincible, so the absolute best way of dealing with coil heads is to trap them behind a pressured door. Once a player is killed by a coil head, the player's head will be replaced by a spring. I read on the Lethal Company wiki that this makes the body conductive. I'm not sure if this is true. Check the pinned comment, I'll have the answer there. We just hit 10,000 subscribers, and most of those have come in the last 28 days. Seriously, thank you to everybody who's subscribed, liked, commented, or even just watched one of my videos. This seriously means the world to me, and just know this is only the beginning of a long journey.